It's the South Florida Morning Show with Jennifer Ross and Bill Adams on News Talk 850 WFTL. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. That's why I'm moving forward with vaccination requirements wherever I can. Oh, there's Uniter Joe. Oh, yeah, but I'm going to force you to get a vaccine that you don't want. Right. That's a great way to unite people. I love the way he, he, you know, here he is getting his third shot. I'm getting my booster to do my part. And, um, you know, he's kidding. And I'm thinking, okay, you're kidding while you're doing this because I'm old. I'm way over 65, blah, blah, blah. He's 78, by the way. And then he went on to say 23% of Americans aren't vaccinated. You're the problem, basically. Right. Get vaccinated. Right. I'm thinking, okay, so let's call out everybody. And he may be right. You know, there's this big difference now. Everybody wants to assume that people who are against vax mandates are against the vax. There couldn't be anything more different. Look at all the people marching in New York yesterday. Most of them were pro-vax. But you know what they're against? Vax mandates. Yeah. Wake up New York. You know what doesn't inspire people to get vaccinated? Mandates. Yeah. And telling them that you people are the problem doesn't work. He doesn't get that. They don't get that. He doesn't. Well, and then, of course, he's there with two masks on. I'm like, what are you doing? So where is he at? Three shots, two masks? It's it's like, you know, how many shots are you going to keep getting, buddy? You know, cut it out. Uh, I guess the only positive thing that really came out of yesterday was Pfizer also made the announcement that they're testing out a pill that would prevent... The COVID vaccine, I mean, the infection from anybody getting exposed to it. So it's kind of like uh, you think you're exposed, you take the pill, it cures you. Wouldn't that be amazing? That'd huh? be awesome. Uh, uh-huh. They are in mid to late stage trials. So they're talking like by the end of the year, this could be available. So you think you've been exposed. Maybe you test positive for COVID. Uh, you take this pill and you're all set. You're yeah, done. Amazing. Uh, and so it's a one- Drug treatment, I think, right? Yeah, that's it. You take it, it, It's kind of like, you know, I hate to say this, like the morning after pill. Well, it's the yeah. same kind of thing. You know, you think you've been exposed, take this pill, you'd be fine. Pfizer's going to make billions and billions of dollars if this thing actually works. That's amazing. So where are they in this thing? They're in mid to late stage trials. Yeah, They're going to study the effects of the drug on more than 2,600 healthy adults who, by the way, live with a person who has tested positive for COVID. Right. And is symptomatic. So they get, they're get they pretty much putting them in the Petri dish to see if this pill works. Well, you know, it's, it, I'm telling you, they're gonna if they haven't decided that blood type plays a role, uh, the family Has that to. was one of Sam's friends, the whole family was infected. They were over for dinner the other night. Uh, they got four kids. Two of them got it. Two of them didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it was the strangest thing. I was I like, how okay. How you figure that? You're right. How's that happen? You know? It's like, okay. And it, they all have a different blood type. So the ones that were all positive didn't get it, by the way, just out of curiosity. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Pfizer is saying the drug's designed to be taken, like you're saying, Jen, after exposure, at the first sign of infection, it can fight off illness for up to two weeks, which would cover you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because they, they isolate you for, what, 14 days. But it's the, it's the effectiveness in not spreading it, I think, which is the key in this thing. Right. And uh, there was, uh, I, I think it was the president of Pfizer said this basically, or the CEO of Pfizer said life will return to normal once this pill is released. Because then there's no That's a strong reason. statement. That's a big statement. He was saying by the, like the middle of next year, life will be back to normal. I love it. Bring it on. I'm like, okay, could we make it a little bit earlier? Science will win like this thing. Christmas would be nice. Wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be really nice. Well, they're in advanced uh, testing, so that would be incredible. Well, let's hope anyway. Yeah, isn't it interesting though? You don't hear about this stuff until it's it's you know here in this case mid testing. So they've been testing this for a while already. Right, must be working. Right. You know, I'll, and how many people would prefer to take a pill than get a shot? You know, that's another big element of this. You're right. I think a lot of people would. It's just something about the shot. A lot of people don't like needles anyway. But you know what? It's kind of like you're main lining it, so it's like ooh. I think people think, well, if I take a pill, it's mm. not as effective as, as as getting a shot, as dumb as that sounds. Right. You know, and, and it's true. I mean, you get you have the flu, you get you get a shot like a penicillin, ampicillin, whatever it is they're going to give you, amoxicillin. It seems to work twice as quickly, if not three times as quickly as, whereas pills, you're going to take them for four or five days before there's an effect. Now, again, though, there's, it's like everything. We don't know what, if there's side effects or anything else, but if they're talking about ending this, <laughs> that's what I'm ready for. Well, I, th- I, I End it. I think a lot of people are ready to end it. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. I think you're right. Mm. We haven't talked about this uh, Brian Dirty Laundry search in a while, but now this is interesting. We're hearing from his parents for the first time. 
Well, and I think it's probably because they've been inundated with, you know, accusations and questions and people everywhere they go. People are saying, what's wrong with you? You helped your son escape uh, through their attorney yesterday. They said, no, we didn't do that. And I'm thinking, okay, you could be lying, too. True. Sure they would. And it's a terrible thing to say, but it does not, you know, as as bad as it looked for Brian Laundrie when he came back without Gabrielle Petito, that's how bad it looks for his parents saying, oh, we had nothing to do with his disappearance. Well, everyone knows you were with this kid, yeah, you know, for three days at least, and then he disappeared. Did you give him a head start? I'm a firm believer they just looked the other way. I, did, I, mean, I mean, me too, but... It's a terrible thing to say. I would. But I understand as a parent, I understand you doing that. I don't even know if I could do that, though. You got other parents out there waiting, yeah, just looking for information. It, it'd be extremely difficult to do, but yeah, I, I think I would turn my kid in. All right, after all that, certainly need one of these. In fact, we're looking for them actively these days. Feel good story of the day. Oh, be honest. You just want to say the word. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I'll admit it. I just want to say spelunking. Oh. <laughs> They were out spelunking. I didn't even know you could spelunk in Indiana. Me neither. Shows you what I know. Who knew? Okay. That's what a bunch of kids, and there were a bunch of them. There's like 20 of them in a pack. Right. They went out, uh, I guess they were looking for caves to go spelunking in. That's cave climbing, isn't it? Or cave dot? What do you call it? Cave, cave exploring, climbing, I guess. Cave exploring. Hey, careful. Next, we'll, st- we'll start talking about stalactites and stalagmites. Okay, the tights come from the top, by the way. Right. And the only reason I remember that was there's a T in stalactites. Here's how I learned it in eighth grade. You might stumble on the stalagmite on the ground. Oh, see, and I was taught just the opposite. There's a T in stalactite, so that's a good one. Now I'll remember it that way. Well, and lo and behold, they look down into this one cave that's like 30 feet. There's a 30-foot drop, and there's nothing but a hole in the ground. And there's a dog, a very skinny dog. 30 feet down, though. 30 feet down. Uh, So what they did was they sent, I I guess one guy was the brave one, went down to make sure the dog wasn't going to eat him. And they realized dog's friendly, must be somebody's dog. So then two guys go down. They put a harness on him and they do a makeshift harness and they they lift the dog out. They took it to animal control. The dog had been missing for two weeks. Wow. His, His parents, his parents, his owners had taken him. They'd gone camping. The dog ran away. And they think what happened is the dog's collar got caught like on a branch near this hole and as he pulled to get away from the branch he fell back oh, the right. collar slipped off and he went in the hole oh, poor and guy. he got stuck here's the moment the spelunkers <laughs> made the magic happen that's the male owner of the oh, dog okay. well, that was good. <laughs> now I feel bad for making fun of him thanks Jen <laughs> 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 they say that the dog lost like 30 pounds. That's and a classic case of dog talk. That is. Everybody's like perfectly baby. normal. I see my dog and I'm like, budget to budget to it's, it's like when you talk to babies. But they say the only reason it survived, there was a turtle shell upside down. And it had rained, and it kept on filling with water. It was the only thing that kept him alive. Oh, thank God. So the dog's fine. It's going to be fine, and wow. uh, it's back with its mom and dad. Wow. So see a good story about spelunking. Now, here's a story coming up. I have no concept of understanding. Why are there Pokemon Oreos, and why are they worth a lot of money? I don't get this either. You're asking the wrong—you know, Diener's the geek, so I'll well, ask him. Well, he's also the kid of the 90s, so he would understand the Pokemon element, I think. And he likes Oreos. He might be our expert on this. Okay. You become a new expert, Diener. All All those things are true about me. All right. We'll figure that one out. But we got headlines, too, coming up next. And uh, the booster shot is here. Of course, says Joe Biden's coming up next. The South Florida Morning Show. This is Jen. I'm Bill. Keep it here. It's also almost rapid fire news time. It's coming up in a couple of minutes at 730. Karen brings the headlines. We chime in. What are you bringing? Speaking of rapid fire. Yes. So a bailiff reportedly fired his gun in the middle of a crowded courtroom. Why? Where? In Van Nuys, California. No. <laughs> By mistake, Ooh. I hope. Accidentally fired the gun during a court uh. proceeding. This was back in August. The bullet bounced off a wall, hit another deputy's radio. Then that had flying shrapnel and hurt that deputy. Spokesperson for the Sheriff's oh Department says goodness. that there's an investigation into the unintentional discharge, but wouldn't provide further details. See, the judge should have used this as an opportunity and said, See, next person that speaks out of turn, he's not going to miss. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, then you've got Broward County where the the murder suspect 
actually runs out of the courtroom and well, escapes because no that, one's got a gun. And then he ran out the front door and somebody was waiting in the car, right? Exactly. And he took off. <laughs> right didn't, didn't we door. do a, like a, didn't you do one of your true I did. crime Yeah, I got a full rigor that? podcast on that one. But yeah, oh my gosh. So this is, that, that must have been crazy. Wow. <laughs> So that more coming up. That's just a little sample. Of Maybe what's it was coming right up. as the judge was banging his gavel too. Bang! Pow! <laughs> Pew! Pew! Barney, yeah, right. Barney Fife. <laughs> we can laugh because no one was hurt. I'm going to have to take your bullet now. Right. Your one bullet. All right. Thanks, Karen. That and a lot more. It's all coming up next for Rapid Fire at 7:30. A couple of minutes away. Stick around for that. It's the South Florida Morning Show. This Jen, this Diener, I am Bill, and uh, Joe got the booster. Yeah. Let's count now. Two masks, three shots. Like I did in my first uh, and second COVID-19 vaccination shot, I'm about to get my booster shot and do it publicly. Oh, well. Okay, so that's why you're st- you mean you have to tell us you're doing it publicly right. while you're standing in front of 25 different cameras from national TV stations. I'm like, yeah, okay. I hope he remembers he got this one. You remember uh, he forgot he got the first two? He said, yeah. I plan on getting yeah, the, no, the oh, vaccine. Sorry, right. you already got it. And yeah, Saki, Saki was like, uh, you already got faxed. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, and there's that. Called out the 23% of Americans who were unvaccinated, and you're the problem. This uh, catchphrase they came up with, a pandemic of the unvaxed, it's, yeah. it's, it's popped up again. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. That's why I'm moving forward with vaccination requirements wherever I can. Ah, there's the mandate part. Okay, so let me see. If you work for the military, you work for any state agency, uh, with the exception of the governors that are going to fight it, Uh, you work for any federal agency. So does that mean like anybody that works for the Postal Service will soon be told you need to get a shot? I'm, I'm shocked that they haven't tried to mandate them yet. I'm really. Why I, is that? I would assume any anybody that's a federal employee that that is will be next. Right. You will be mandated to get a vaccine if you haven't already gotten it. Wow. And if not, uh, you're going to get fired. Boy, if I were an attorney, I would be. I would find out every law I possibly could. Oh. Or how to win one of these cases because you're going to become very popular. It should be a specialty because these cases are going to go on for decades. Jeez. Uh, speaking of the military. Yeah. Do you remember Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Scheller? He was the uh, uh, Marines colonel who was actually put, they put him in jail the first time for a couple of days and they suspended him and they took him off duty now for speaking out against the Afghanistan uh, screw up. Right. Now he's actually in jail. Yeah, they uh, threw him in the brig. (laughs) Is that insubordination? Is that what they got him on? Is that what that is? I guess that's the charge. You might remember this is what got him in trouble the first time. I guess he kept on making videos. Did any of you throw your rank on the table and say, hey, it's a bad idea to evacuate Bagram Airfield, the strategic air barriers, before we evacuate everyone? Did anyone do that? And when you didn't think to do that, did anyone raise their hand and say, we completely messed this up? No, you didn't. (laughs) They didn't. Your superiors. He was brought in and he was told, I guess, by his superiors, you need to stop posting these videos. Right after they released him, he went and did another one about how they called him in to stop doing the videos. I'm like, oh... Yeah, he was a rebel. So now they threw him in the brig. Uh, was it avoidable? Yeah. He could have avoided being thrown into the brig, but he believes what he believes. It doesn't mean he's wrong. Well, and he said, I'm ready for jail. Uh, right. He's been a Marine for 17 years, so he has a preliminary hearing. I, I don't know I, what a court-martial ends up costing you, how, how long you end up in prison for in the military brig, but I'm sure it's a long time. And then you lose all your benefits. So for 17 years, you've acquired all these benefits as a Marine, and you're going to lose all of that. It's, that's sad. That's conviction, though. I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's somebody that believes in what he's saying. It's kind of like the, the Massachusetts state troopers. Right. Dozens wow. walking off the job, risking their careers because they are fighting the VAX mandate. That takes guts. That's pretty amazing, actually, that they did that. I was like, wow. Yeah, they all walked off. See you later. Bye. I'm like, okay. Wow. I, well, it's even more, I, I, as, a, as a Massachusetts resident, I would be more concerned that you have no st- state troopers left. Well, you're probably speeding down, you know, I-95 now, but uh, other than that, what are you going to do? I, I mean, mean you, they're everywhere. If you've got police departments and state troopers, of all people, walking up in one state, you can see that growing. It's starting. Wow. You know, the civil disobedience is starting here. It took us a while. We were probably the last country to do it, but it's happening. There's wow. marches, there's rallies. Speaking of Massachusetts, we missed this from the weekend, but this happened. There was a anti-vax mandate rally in front of the state house on Saturday. I like that. Well, that turned into this chant. Joe must vote! Joe must vote! Joe must vote! 
That's not insignificant wow. to happen there. Yeah. New York City yesterday, when they were announcing, you know, that they're going to get rid of health care workers that didn't meet their vax deadline yesterday, they took to the streets. <laughs> The pushback has arrived. Wow. It's crazy is what it is. And you're right. The pushback has arrived. But then at the same token, the pushback's arriving in the street. But you got the president of the United States saying wherever he can mandate it, he's going to. Exactly. So the, eventually that's going to happen. If you are a federal employee and you don't have a shot, get ready because he's going to tell you you need one or you're going to lose your job. And if I were an attorney, I'd be calling you right away. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, what a lot happens, of lawyers are going to make a lot of money. What happens to the one person, and all it takes is one, as we well know, that's forced by the federal government to get a shot that they don't want and they get sick? Or they get – there's an impairment because of it. Yeah. Or something even more horrific, like death happens. Is anybody then going what? to – maybe they're working on it now. Any state laws enacted where you can sue your employer if you got, if you got forced in a be, private company? should be interesting to see what happens. I, I bet you there's a ton of attorneys working on stuff like that right now, though. You know, again, too, everybody's getting lumped into this same category. You're either A or B, and it's not true. There are plenty of people. I think I'd put myself in this category. I'm pro-vax because I think it's the best option right now. I am so anti-vax mandate, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, don't tell There's me a big what difference. you difference. It's true. It's like telling your kid, don't touch the stove. You know, next thing you know, they're going to touch the stove and they're going to get burned. They don't learn until they do it themselves. You can't force people to do stuff they don't want to do. Right, exactly. It just leads to mayhem. It's all it is. This administration doesn't get that. Well, That's for sure. And we didn't get billions. Rolls over. Karen's probably going to have more on this on uh, rapid fire in a couple of minutes, but... Well over a half billion dollars now. Five hundred seventy million, as it stands right now for tomorrow. Put it this way: the Florida Lotto is two point seven million. What ticket are you buying? <laughs> you know, I'm just. It's. I mean, if you got two bucks, you're gonna buy one that's gonna win you five hundred seventy million, or one that's gonna win you two point seven million. And Mega Millions is like twenty something million. But next to there's that billboard ninety five northbound through Lake Worth. Side by side, it looks so anemic. <laughs> Next gotta, to 500 and something. they got to add another zero to the Mega Man. Millions to make it look good. We did not get to the Pokemon cookies, and I don't know if Karen's going to bring oh, it up. Right. So, so Dina, work on your Pokemon because we're going to ask you about this stuff. It's actually good we're delaying it because you need some research on this. There are Pokemon Oreos, and apparently they're worth a lot of money. And I don't know why. I don't get any of it. When did they come out? I don't even remember them coming out. I would have eaten them. Yeah, me and you both. All right, we got Rapid Fire coming up next, though. Karen's got news, and we chime in. It's 7.30. Time for Jenna Bill's Rapid Fire with Karen Curtis on News Talk 850 WFTL. You know what time it is. Hopefully we do. It's Rapid Fire. That means Karen brings all the news and we bring the comments. So what's what's you leading with? I am leading with another missing woman in Florida. He had demonstrated a romantic interest in Mia. This was repeatedly rebuffed by Mia. The 19-year-old Mia Makana, they can't find her. Oh, dear. This is in Orlando. Not good. Not good. And the person of interest, Armando Manuel Caballero, or Caballero. I never know when not to say the L. Um, he was found dead of an apparent suicide. He had a maintenance oh, key, and apparently he broke in or whatever oh, where she was working. She, w- she went to Pembroke Pines. Uh, she went to Flanagan High School. She's from Broward. Oh, jeez. So she is missing. If you know anything about it, you know, contact Orlando police. Sad. Yeah. And then we've got this other one, new dispatch vid, uh, audio from police. Remember the Moab situation where there was oh, yeah. a man reportedly hitting a woman? Yeah. Right. Well, here, this was the the Brian Laundry, Gabby Petito thing. Mel hit a female. Subject says hit the curb. First name Brian, last name Laundry. So, yeah, his family denies that they're helping him. FBI took over the investigation. He's still, we don't know where he is. I got a, uh, I, I just, I was so disturbed by this thing for a week. A lot of people were, but as a parent and as a dad. So I have a Cool Dad Rules podcast drops today, this afternoon. But can, what, can you actually look at the signs? And, you know, you got an adult child. When do you step in and say no? Here's where I would step in. Oh, van trip with this shady boyfriend across the country? Don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, but, but did you know he was shady before then? Well, that's, and also, Jen, as you well know, because you got daughters too, you don't want to scare them off. Well, she no. lived in so the house. So you don't house. want to try to exert too much control, but what do you do? She lived in the house with him. It was not vice versa, so her parents really didn't get a taste of him. Yeah. Her parents are divorced. I don't know about the Landry, but they said they're not helping him. And then her parents are holding a press conference in New York today. They must have some information that they're going to give. But yeah, maybe the they F- do. The FBI took it away from Northport. No, no buzzards, no vultures, no dead body, they're saying. 
in, so he's not like somewhere in that reserve dead. Yeah, and then you had, you know, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter all of a oh, sudden yeah, on one. the case. He goes to another park 75 miles away saying, my tip leads me here, and he has all his cameras with him. I'm thinking, yeah. you didn't do this for the publicity, yeah. huh? Sure. If you huh. saw any signs of any of your daughters in any kind of abusive, toxic relationship, do you step in if they're in oh, their absolutely. early 20s? Yeah. Absolutely. I absolutely. think I would, too, even if they're an adult. Yes. I don't care. You're always still a parent. You're always still a mom. I'm always still a dad. Yeah. hundred percent. I can't yeah. wait to hear your cool dad rules. That's awesome. Uh, the Florida deputy shot and murdered. Uh, the shooter is still on the loose. We now have a murderer on the loose. Deputy Josh Moyers is not going to survive. So 35-year-old Patrick oh. McDowell, there's a $54,000 reward for this guy, Jeez. former Marine. I have his mugshot up at the website under Karen's crime blog. Do you have so, any idea which direction he went? They think he might still be there in Nassau County. Or really? Is in it Jacksonville? Yeah, Jacksonville? Around Jacksonville. Jacksonville. They're like closing schools. They're don't, you know, if you Boy. see him, just call police. He's armed and dangerous. Statewide search and they still haven't found him. Yes. I'm always surprised at that. Yeah, well, they had that last guy that did the same thing. He shot that cop. I think yeah. it was in Orlando. They eventually caught him, but yep. he was like right up the street. You're right. It wasn't like he was far away. How scary does that have to be if you're an officer? I know. He's already killed one of your own. Jeez. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, R&B singer. R. Kelly, found well, guilty, all counts. What a creeper this guy Woof. is. I Holy didn't know about cow. the Aaliyah angle. I didn't either. I heard you talking about that your last newscast. I had no idea. Wow. Man. Horrifying. Walked in on her and him, and she was like, what, 13? Gross. So he was found guilty of racketeering, recruiting young women and boys. Yeah. Minors yeah, for sex. They you, deliberated for about nine hours. Did you hear some of the testimony? It was bad. He had them locked up. They couldn't yeah. leave. They, wore, they I mean, he was more like Sengali. He took over their entire lives. It's uh, horrible. That is a, and this happened how many years ago, and he was still wandering around? Yeah, this has been long. going on forever. Ever. Yeah, he faces now 20 years in prison. He's going to be sentenced May 4th. But gee, he Grammys wishes he could guy. fly now. <laughs> oh, that's right. Mm. Sorry. That's so good news. Uh, this happened yesterday. I was kind of, I don't know, ugh, hair on the arm is like not good. I'm about to get my booster shot and do it publicly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Joe's okay. creepy hairy arm. <laughs> so we did, a, we did a head count before. He is now uh, two masks and three shots. Oh, wow. Uh, he is... Bulletproof. Jeez. <laughs> he got his Pfizer booster. Uh, he also pushed the unvaccinated to get their shots. He says it's a pandemic of the unvaccinated. It's actually a pandemic of, of the immune who's already had. You have to also factor in who's had the virus. Yes, yeah, exactly. They have immunity. But they don't want to hear They definitely don't want to hear that. They won't. Yeah. So a vaccine isn't the only thing that can help you. Yeah. They are trying desperately to figure out in the White House how to get those 23% mil- 23 of the United States who isn't vaccinated to be forced to be but vaccinated. But they're already immune if they've already had it. Maybe they already no had it. makes no difference to this administration. But it's not. maybe it's not good to get the vaccine if you've already had it. You yeah, what are the long-term effects of that? I don't know. I don't think anyone knows. And Pfizer testing a pill. It's a new oral antiviral therapy, and it's combined with an HIV drug. This may be great. Yeah, and it, anything that ends with a veer <laughs> is basically what they're doing. The drug maker looking for the efficacy to see if it works. Um, but any, if you're 18 year, years or older and you live in the same household with someone who has COVID, you take the pill and you don't get sick. That would be amazing. That really is amazing. <laughs> I hope so. I hopes for this. What did Pfizer say, the CEO? The CEO said if this works, uh, basically, life will return to normal by uh, the latest, the middle of next year. yippity They're dippity in do. late stages of the testing on this thing, so they may be on the fast track. Good. Uh, coming up on uh, Rapid Fire, Democrats trying to avoid a government shutdown. Mm. Boy, there's all kinds of stuff going on there. But time for 850 WFTL traffic and weather together. Earlier crash involving a police vehicle. South of 95 at Bridge Road and Hope Sound in the clearing stages. North of 95 at Hillsborough Boulevard and Deerfield Beach. Watch for an accident there. Uh, that one's going to slow you down heading out of Broward into Palm Beach. As roadways are nice and dry because our WPTV first alert weather is dry weather. We've got this high pressure system that's dominating our weather. Beautiful blue skies. This is why we live in Florida. Sunny, less humid today. High of about 86, 87. But it's it's a dry heat and no chance of an <laughs> afternoon storm. A 2% chance today, 16 tomorrow. Currently 78 degrees after a beautiful sunrise in the Palm Beaches. Back to Rapid Fire Bill. Well, with that news, break out the long sleeves. But they may be crumpled up in the corner of the closet like mine. Don't do that. Call Ozo2 Eco Dry Cleaners. Free pickup and delivery, too. Check it out. Sign up. Ozo2USA.com. All right. Thank you, Bill. Back to Rapid Fire. Speaking of pills, the DEA warning 
is an alarming increase in the number of these counterfeit pills laced with deadly fentanyl. Oh God, that's not good. There, I didn't take know. long for this to come back again. Wow. Well, now they're in. They look like Percocets or oxycodone. Wonderful. Uh. And it's this synthetic opioid. Apparently, two out of every five pills laced with the fentanyl contains a deadly dose. This is a major problem. Fentanyl is designed to kill people. That's right. Remember, wow. they, they just confiscated enough fentanyl to kill a half million people. They did. That's more than have been killed by COVID in the United Scary. States. Fentanyl is a major, major concern across the border. And that was Huge. in Florida. Yeah, it's... Thank you, China. And now you got these pills, you don't know... You know what I'm saying? You don't know which That's one is horrible. which. How do you know? Unless you can, like, test it. God. Wow, how scary. That's Russian roulette. At least with the gun, you know there's a bullet in there. <sighs> this, you have no idea. That's bad. All right, now that we're thoroughly terrified. Yeah. Got some good news I guess news that would be that? the, I would hope that's the, the drugs on the street where you're buying them right. individually. That's pretty much what it's they're talking the about, It's not the prescription yeah. drugs. No. Right. God forbid it gets in our prescription pill things. But, but anyway. not everybody can get the prescription right. drugs, so they turn to the street, and that's how that happens. Exactly. Oh, God. Top Democrats are working to avoid a government shutdown. What? Where's your money on this one? Are we shutting down Thursday night? Yes. David Dieter's like, yes. I don't know. Republican. The problem is they're trying to hold this $3.5 trillion human infrastructure, build a better America package on top of the government shutdown. So Nancy Pelosi and all her little Adam Schiffies and, and Jerry Nadler's there are oh. all like, oh, no, you got to pass this $3.5 trillion. But don't look at the money. It's good for us, and then, yeah, then we'll vote to keep the government open. So they're holding it hostage. It's like, how stupid can you be? I'm looking forward to a week-long shutdown or something. You know, wow. it would be a pause in the damage they're doing. Well, Give us a break. Well, what do you think the over-under? I think the, all of it gets passed. I think it all goes Oh, through. God, please, no. I want to know what tree equity is. I think they plan, they're they planting lots of trees. <laughs> they're, they, they're, they are giving $250 million to a thing called tree equity. What the hell is that? It's to plant more trees. And they're giving every federal employee an electric car. Yeah, but that's where they're going to charge those. What did you say about electric cars? Well, you need fossil fuels to run the electric factories. So. <laughs> to generate power. And by the way, Jen... Just be thankful it's not tree justice, they're calling it, okay? Oh, it's tree justice? No, oh. just be thankful they're not okay. calling it tree justice. So, so true. Okay. All right. God bless the trees. All right. Uh, federal judge just ruled John Hinckley Jr., who shot President Ronald Reagan in 1981, can be freed of all restrictions next year. Oh, I don't it's know. a mental health miracle. Here's his attorney, Barry Levine, after the ruling. People who are ravaged by mental disease, proper support, with good treatment, can achieve mental stability, become productive members of the society. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. It's the messaging of it. You can't try to shoot the president. Can't try, do shoot the president. Try to kill him. Yeah. You can't be on the street ever. Sorry. Is Go James away. Lo- well, don't, don't shoot. Remember what he did to Tom? Was it Brady? James Which, Baker. James Brady. Yeah, Baker. Remember? Is he still alive? I can Anyway, Brady. he was like, Brady. 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 Really it was, yeah, Jim Brady. Oh, I thought it was oh, that's right. Brady. Brady. I thought it was Baker. No, Brady Bill came from that. Yeah, he's he's oh. has since passed, but he was the one who took the bullet. Oh, um, Levine, the poor man. The, his attorney called it quote a great day for mental health. Except Not. Ronald Reagan's daughter. We were wondering what was going on. It's like okay, Reagan's dead. Nancy Reagan's dead. I, this would never be happening were he still alive. But now I'm thinking, where are the kids? His daughter is the only one who's protesting. I mean, if that were your father. Would you want this guy walking around? I'm no, sorry. I'd no, make sure he wouldn't. By the way, think about this. In this year, in 2021, you got Sirhan Sirhan and John Hinckley walking the streets. Wow. I think, Bill, you called it. That would make a great reality show. Oh. Put them together. Put them together. In like a big brother house. They're in an apartment. You know, get to hide the knives and everything. <laughs> now, but put them like, in an apartment. And they go on, like, acting auditions. Odd couple, too. <laughs> but, can, but can they benefit financially from their crimes now? Yeah, if they've been After exonerated, the sure. Yeah, they're Why not? Huh. I don't Amazing. think the son of Sam rule applies if you're free. Huh. Well, wow. uh, by the way, two Miami businessmen are behind a new attempt to stop sports gambling in Florida. I don't get this. Yeah, they say it violates the state constitution and federal law. Okay. Online sports gambling is said to become legal October 15th for those 21 and older. Wonder, wonder of them is uh, Mr. Brayman. A lot of money there, obviously. Oh, yeah. I, I've never understood his opposition. He's been on this bandwagon for a long time. I don't, know. I don't know what the issue is. Is it religious, maybe? Well, they're saying it's unconstitutional and also against federal law, so I don't know. If that would, well, that would definitely be a red flag. I think there's a lot true. of things that are unconstitutional against the law that I'd rather fight further than like gambling. Like marijuana. Yeah. And you know. federally, it's illegal. 
Yeah. I hate to tell him like it's killing com- people. It's coming anyway. You can't stop gambling. Yeah. You can't spot stop sports gambling. It's like so legitimized. Yeah. yeah. Or you can just go two miles out in the ocean and do it. But by the or way, just the- go on your app on your phone. Yeah. King James, LeBron, was on uh, Monday Night Football, yeah. and he said that two NFL teams <laughs> offered him contract to switch over to be tight end. Can you imagine him flopping on the football field? Oh Yeah, he would have. Well, he also, did you catch what he said? And I would have made the cut, because I'm <laughs> King James. I can do everything. Boy, he's a really... I've been the biggest kid since I came out of the womb. I'm King James. I can do anything. I cannot stand him. He's the biggest <laughs> narcissist I think that ever existed. He, he is the most unlikable athlete of all time. You're right. And there were a lot I didn't like. I absolutely can't stand. I heard the promo on the, I tried to watch the Manning show last night. I heard the promo he was coming on. I'm out. Can't do it. Can't stomach him. <laughs> Won't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want a world where he exists. Well, I can't I mean, wait till he retires, just goes away. But just think of how many other fans other than Billy's ticked off. I mean, he ticked off Miami when he left. He ticked off Cleveland when he left. He, t- he keeps on leaving teams in the lurch. Hey, See you later. Bye. Yeah, by the way, Heat fans, here's your loyalty. He was <laughs> talking about becoming an NFL tight end when he was with the Heat. Yeah. Right. Here's your loyalty. So. Well, it was during, what was it, the uh, NFL uh, blackout, lockout? NBA. Oh, excuse me, NBA, NBA lockout, blackout in 2011, yeah. yeah. I just don't like the man, but okay. All right. Well, <laughs> we ran him up the flagpole. <laughs> yeah. And down, and All then right. back up. Sure, I'm sure he cares. <laughs> yeah, well, that wraps up Rapid Fire. What great radio is coming up next? Uh, we've got more headlines coming up, Karen. We've got uh, the civil disobedience has begun in some big cities. And we got to get to the... I'm sorry, we have to get to the Pokemon Oreo story. Well, I'm really upset because I was going to go buy some today. Now you're going to screw it up because everybody in the world is going to go buy them now. I didn't know they existed. Apparently they're worth money. I, I, and Diener appara- did the research. We're relying on him for this. Who? It, yeah, and who's this mythical Mew? I have no idea. It's coming up next. The East South Florida Morning Show. This is Jen. I'm Bill. Keep it here. News Talk 850 WFTL, the South Florida Morning Show. This is Jen, this is Diener. I'm Bill. Karen's got more news for you about 12 minutes away. Well, uh, we already played for you the... Sound of Joe Biden getting the vax, getting the booster shot yesterday. Well, Jen Psaki, of course, right after that was talking about the confusion over the booster shot. Why don't people understand what this is about? Oh. If everybody here is saying it's confusing, then people are going to think it's confusing. And so what I'm trying to do is alleviate the confusion. <laughs> huh? That was a scented salad. Okay. It's confusing because of your messaging. It's awful. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with the people in the room looking at you. When you confuse an entire journalistic crowd, there's a problem. It would be you're the problem, not the journalists in the room who are just more or less uh, regurgitating the words you're saying to the rest of the world. Uh, so, yeah, you're right. It's the messaging. Uh, you have the president of the United States up there getting a third shot with a, with a mask on. Uh, come on, huh? Get the, rid of the mask, Joe. It, I'm tired of it. They don't get it. I mean, the, the, from the get-go, they've messed this up. In the campaign, they messed this up. They, these were the folks running. Saki was part of this campaign, too. Don't forget about that. <sighs> well, the, we can't be sure about the, the Trump vaccine. Oh, my. Yeah, okay, Election that's over. Right. Everybody get the vaccine or else. You know what? I, 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 until you brought that up probably like six months ago, I completely forgot about that. Their confusion comes from them. It's, because they're because they have mixed messaging on everything they do for political reasons, and then you got go back to when Biden got his first two shots, and then and then started wearing the double masks. Oh, you know, do you know how many people saw that in this country and said, "Wait a minute, but but, but you still got to wear the mask"? Instead of saying freedom. And it's funny because if you run into somebody now, like in a store, and they got a mask on, and they kind of look at you sideways, or a friend of mine, I'm like, why, why are you always wearing the mask? Well, I don't want to get it. Well, well, you got the vaccine. I can still get it. Okay, but they say, you know, if, you know yeah, that's true. There are breakthrough cases. Fine. But in many, in many situations, even if you're vaccinated and you get it, the, as, as one expert was overheard saying, you will leave the hospital. Uh, that was a quote-unquote from a person that I can't mention. But anyway, uh, and, the, and that seems to be the underlying result. If you're vaccinated, you may go to the hospital, but you would leave the hospital in the event it you're not. It greatly mitigates the... Yeah, it, the circumstances. Exactly. So, and I'm trying to explain that to her, and she goes, but I'm going to wear a mask because that's going to protect me. I said, just like it protects everybody else in the world who's gotten it already, who's been vaccinated and has a mask on. And I, that's fine. I, you know, there are okay. going to be people, I, I, I know people in my life, they will be wearing masks for the rest of their lives. They will. And it's just that you got. We just went through a massive mindset shift over the past year and a half. 
of the information we were told, the disinformation we were told, the fear mongering through the media, the all this other stuff, and just the anger that's out there. You're gonna this it's life changing for the rest of our lives. Some good, some horrible. And if you don't believe that, there is a reason you haven't seen a lot of Dr. Fauci. The list administration was smart that's enough. True. Was smart that's enough to true. realize he was a complete yes. mess up from beginning to end. Because one day he'd tell you to wear a mask, or he'd, at beginning, right. oh, you don't wear a mask. It's this COVID thing, it's not gonna. It's not even gonna bother the United States. It's no big deal. He trashed the president of the United States. That being Donald Trump, when Donald Trump called cut off travel from China to the United States. Right. I think on. he called him a xenophobe. Actually, he did. Uh, and then he said, this is never going to affect the United States. Two months later, he's like, wear eight masks, don't leave your house, stay locked up, do this, do that. I'm thinking, you wonder why people don't believe this guy anymore? Right. So all of a sudden, he's gone. But now they got Walensky out there. She totally screwed the pooch the other day when she talked about, I, you know what? You need to get the shot, even though the CDC was telling her, you don't need a third shot. She's- oh, it's, it's all – and Saki wants to blame her friends in the media for the confusion? Wow. It's them. Yeah. They don't know what they're doing. When your own agency turns on you, the CDC is ready to kill Rochelle Walensky. Oh, yeah. And she was, she's the director of them. She's going to be gone soon. Like, wow. You're right about Fauci, though. They have, he they hasn't have, been around. They have yeah. doused him a little bit. Yeah. You're right. In the meantime, Diener, Explain child this. of the 90s, <laughs> a, a show's lonely eyes turns its <laughs> eyes to you. We don't understand this, but we're trying to stay hip. There are rare Pokemon Oreos, and they're selling for thousands of dollars. I would like to get my hands on some, but I'd probably eat them. I wouldn't know the difference. Okay, you got to explain. Who's Mew? I don't even know who Mew is. Mew? That's the next variant Fauci's going to (laughs) push. No, no, that's M-U. This is M-E-W. Oh, Mew. That's right. Okay, Okay, so who the... I only know Poke... I only know what's his name, Pikachu, the yellow thing. Sure. He's the only one I know. He's got his own balloon in the Macy's Parade. It's famous Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, so Oreos comes out with these Pokemon Oreos. Right. They're regular Oreos, but they got a stamp on one side of the Pokemon, right? Correct. Okay, so I guess if you have one, <laughs> do you have these? I don't yet, but I, I need them in my life because... Well, if you got 200 grand, maybe you could buy them. Yeah, because what's happening is, I mean, you can find them in Target and Publix for, you know, regular price of Oreos. Not anymore. If you can find them is the question. So it's like a search. It's like a or, treasure hunt. Yeah, because, you know, these are like limited edition. Oreo hasn't said, you know, how long they're going to keep doing these, but apparently there's like, in this pack... You can get 12 different types of Pokemon okay, Oreos. Uh. The most common ones are Pikachu or, you know, Charmander, if you know Pokemon. He's a little dinosaur, dragon type oh, Pokemon. Oh, that's his name. Okay. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking I about. I know right the now. little. He's okay. a little fire. He's a little orange dude. And But the most rare one is Mew. And, and that kind of goes to the game and to the cards and everything. Mew was always. The most rare Pokemon. Like, nobody ever saw Mew. It was like a myth. So. It's just like the cards. Yeah, okay. pretty much. You know what this means? You're going to have a bunch of nerds rifling through the Oreo section at Publix. That's right. Ripping open packages. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who's Dratini? Dratini's a little, like, dragon guy. Kind of looks like and a... Lapras. Lapras is like Loch Ness, pretty much. It looks like a Loch Ness monster. Isn't it sad that it... How old are you? 40? Do you know all of this? I am not 40! I, okay. was hoping he, close. I was hoping he'd be able to explain a little bit of it. I didn't know it'd be this in-depth. Yeah. Oh, I could do a four-hour show on Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding? So Char- this is what's coming tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, it's Diener announcing my new podcast. It's Pokemon po- <laughs> Potty Man Podcast. Might as well add to the list. I have seven of them already. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> You're like po- you're you're like podcast personified. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous! It's the time you have to sleep. Uh, Charmander, by the way, is fire breathing. That's right. Wow. He's got a little fire, little embers on his tail. I don't want my cookies fire breathing. Quite frankly, <laughs> well, see now I'm going to have to go look for these damn things. Yeah, so see now you you're do. in. So now you keep them, them yeah. and do what? And pray like if you put them in your, you got to keep them somewhere where they're going to stay good. So they got to stay in your refrigerator and pray your kids don't eat them. I know you got to have parents yelling at kids. Am- What's wrong with you eating that Oreo? <laughs> now, some people are selling them un unopened, so it's like. You're buying, you're spending $15,000 on eBay for an open pack of Oreos. You might just have like seven Pikachus right. and five Charmanders, and you just wasted 15 grand. They are. They're going for thousands of dollars. Yeah. you got to be crazy. kidding me. Anyway. This is craziness. It's hope on the horizon. Great there hope, is? in fact, about this Pfizer drug. I know. Isn't when when this the cool? CEO of the drug company says ending the pandemic with this. Sweet. Let's try to get some information on this thing coming up next. And, uh, oh boy. <laughs> I think this is it. I think award shows are done. Broadway bombed. Well, you no know one watched the Tonys. And and but again, that is an elite group. It is. You know, it's a very very small niche of people right. love Broadway shows. Uh, so I mean, 
They're in trouble. It's coming up next. The South Florida Morning Show. This is Jenna Bill. Keep it here.